Hey guys, Lucille here from Flip Artistry Heaven. Today we are going to be working on Dream Lab. I made a, an amazing discovery and I couldn't wait to share with you guys what I picked up with the recent changes from Canva. So if you are new here, I speak about all things clip art design, sublimation designs, such as tumbler wraps, mug wraps, pillow designs, t-shirt designs, and all things sublimation then please stick around and subscribe to my channel, like, share, it helps with the algorithm, it helps the robots to push out my content and more people can learn from what it is that I am doing. If you are returning visitor, thank you so much for your support and for always being part of my entire process. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And I hope you are ex as excited as I am about this discovery. So you may or may not know that I love creating clip art designs, images, etc. with Canva's Dream Lab. So since it came out last year, October 2024, I've just every day, every other update has just been very impressive. And, and it's just been adding to the success of my uh, Etsy store. So over the weekend, I was creating some designs because my credits were running out. <laughs> Sorry, or the month was running out and I was like still on 100 plus credits. And I thought, let me just make some all sorts of, of designs um, before the, the new allotted 500 kicks in in April. So I went to Dream Lab and as per usual, I would create a image and something amazing popped up. Let me show you. So I'm just going to go to my AI prompt heaven. It's a monthly, monthly membership that I've designed. It's fairly new. And it's if you are new in the designing space with AI, if you are wanting to start your own digital store, such as Etsy or your own website or even a Shopify store, and you're not so confident about the prompting, then I would welcome you to check out AI Prompt Heaven. It's a monthly membership, cancel anytime, but it's basically a vault with growing AI prompts to fill up your stores with, especially when you're starting out and you're not sure which system to use, how to build prompts, and the whole, you know, what if, how to, etc. around that whole entire process. So join my community if, you, if you're not part of my Facebook group or my email list. I share everything that I know via these platforms. And if you feel that you need, you know, help with the missing puzzle, maybe to you, for you to progress to the next step, <laughs> please feel free to join. Okay, so I'm just going to go to save time. I'm going to go to um, my account. And then as you log in, you'll see all the little main modules over here. So we've got clip art, Tumblr apps, mug apps, etc. We're going to just focus on clip art bundles. And I'm going to go to celebrations and holidays since it's Easter. And I've just recently stocked all of these up. So if you are an existing member, all of these prompts are available to you. You can just go and copy and paste it into your software of choice. So okay, it's Easter, I wanted to, to I wanted to go to animals actually, sorry. So that was just a quick <laughs> FYI, if you're a new, if you are an existing member, there are some new prompts available for you. I just want to go to these little guys, which I played with over the weekend, or actually last week, and I've actually sold a pack already. I just made it last week and I sold a pack already. It's called Animals with Attitudes and it's on Etsy. It's available on Etsy. So look at these cuties. My heart melts every time I see them. And I know I created it and I shouldn't maybe boast about my own prompts, but I can't help it because they are just too cute. <laughs> so I made a whole bundle out of this. We've listed it on Etsy and I got a sale. So that's how quickly it happens. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go to the raccoon. The, the reason I'm going back to the raccoon because the people have just been raving about the raccoon. Someone bought the pack just because of the raccoon, even though there's so many other animals. So I'm just going to copy the prompt, go back to um, Dream Lab. So I sell my clip art designs in a one, one to one ratio. So it's like a square. I go between illustration and sketch color. So those are the two that I go, that I, you know, compare between the two to see that which gives me the best output. I was so surprised when I saw this. So what I love about Dream Lab is they are amazing with the uh, text. So if you are anything like me that started way back two years ago, texting has always been a constant issue with these models. Eogram is very good, especially with their t-shirt designs. So their texting has always been, in my opinion, like 
top of the range, Kito, I sometimes struggle with. I feel like I still have to like continuously prompt and reprompt just to get the text to appear. And um, my journey has never been good with 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 texting. Unfortunately, even though I've I'm a very very biased towards my journey, but it's not given me the best text out there. But anyway, be this with my dream lab. I'm happy. You can see all these, all four, one credit, all four. I'm um, talking about credits. How many do I have left? 60. <laughs> and I've got a few hours left till the end of the 31st of uh, March. So all four were all four were spelled correctly. I'm gonna show you the trick that I've picked up now. Let's go to this one. Okay, so now I'm going to open an editor. Check this out. <laughs> I was like shocked. And I picked it up so quickly because it wasn't there in the past. So if you're very, very observant, tell me what you see. <laughs> tell me what you see. Here. Although this is not the best example, but we'll do another one. I noticed that you can actually change the color of your design. Like an SVG, like how you would de-layer it in Photoshop and then change the different layers. Canva now has updated their system where you can actually go and play with the color palette and change it according to whatever color you want. For example, if you want to match it to your company's branding, you can now change this raccoon to your branding colors. So let's look at another example, because as I said, it's only picked up one color. But just to show you, if you had to go yellow, that's what you can do now. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> we couldn't do this before. Now we have the option where you can change this according to the color. You can duplicate it. You can duplicate it and change the color to whatever it is you want. We couldn't do this before. This was possible. I know in Kittle there's a way to do it. There is a way currently to do it because they like, support like SVG changing of colors. But we couldn't do this before in Canva. So I thought, I thought, let me speak to my people. I'm sure they're going to be as excited about it as I am. Let's see? So I don't think the gradient works there. But anyway, um, let's look at them. So now you've got all these different colors, same image, and that adds value to your Etsy store. Because now if you are in the business of selling one design, right, you get people that sell one design versus people who sell like bundles, 20, 30, 40, and uh, greater sizes in bundles. But now you can sell your one image and you can just continue to change the color. So if we want to, want to take it back to its original color, all we do is that in this case, and we go back to the pink which was this one, I think, was the original color. So that's amazing. Let's look at another one. So let's go back to Dream Lab, right? And let's go grab another prompt from AI Prompt Heaven. Um, let's go with, let's go with the frog. I hope there's enough colors for us. Copy, paste. Let's go with another one. Maybe this one. Uh, let's try it. Let's try this one. Let's try this one because there's many, many. There are many colors here. <clears throat> okay. So let's try the, the cute but cursed catty, which is so cute. Let's click and let's go to editor. I hope the color palette is more. Won't won't be because it's not a lot of colors let's try the rainbow one um, i'm just looking for more color oh it keeps on just getting cuter <laughs> um i've also i'll show you another thing that i've noticed with the upgrade okay, let's see i hope there's more colors there you see the color palette there's more right so you copy you Make a duplicate so that's the original, and then you just come and play with your colors here. So let's say we want that. Oh. <laughs> and we want this. Okay. 
let's open the color wheel. Uh, let's do green. Like we can, we can change the colors any which way we want. Look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's let's try my color uh, corporate colors branding colors. So let's say I wanted to this one. Okay, so it's not doing it. It's not doing it all. So if you click on it, so you will have to now fetch all your branding colors. In this case, I thought you could do that, but that's not a problem. We can just. So that's my company's branding colors for one of my businesses. That's exactly it. And that can be a little mascot for my business. So that's what I wanted to show you. One more thing before you go. One more thing before you go. You can now also, at a cost of one credit, you can upscale. So you'll see it's, this is the resolution at the moment. If you upscale, it goes back into the queue and it does subtract one credit. Just keep that in mind. But it will give you a higher resolution image um, for you to export and edit and update and then list on Etsy. So it was, so it's doubled the resolution. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any questions, drop it in the comments for me. If you want to sign up for the monthly membership, please feel free to click on the link below and yeah, catch you in the Facebook group or email, email me, face, message me on Facebook or just reach out uh, in the comment section below on the video. Have a wonderful day and week. Thank you.